guys might want to come closer too because it's so cool. Yeah, if you want to come closer. Yeah, co um, you guys can come closer. Go ahead. Don't worry. Don't bother anybody anymore. <laughs> <laughs> come on closer. Don't be afraid. If all of you, you can see well, that that's fine. Okay. Well, all right. So, so uh, good, good evening. Okay, cool. We're ready. Uh, yeah, welcome to this presentation. So we are Stipe, we are a creation company. We develop mainly uh, tracking systems for camera, objects, uh, and, and talent, okay? Uh, so that's the, the, the core business and the, what we started doing. So this, the tracking systems for the camera that you saw on the main stage, the Red Spy, and the crane also, we manufacture those uh, those systems, and also the 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 the, um, the plugin for Unreal Engine that it's being used for the XR part. It's also ours, okay. And in this case, we're showcasing here a uh, follower, which is this network of infrared cameras that you can see in the ceiling, okay. So this uh, this um, cameras are looking for this kind of LED uh, beacons, okay? So these beacons have all, has also a, a unique ID, and that's how we are also tracking the camera. So this camera, if you see, you have this device that we call the spider, okay? So we, with these uh, beacons, we can track the position and the rotation, okay? And also, within the device, there's a, a gyroscope, okay? So that's why we can track the, the, the camera, but we can also track the cameras with, with Respite. We could make uh, mix it. Now, what we are seeing here, which is uh, it's very interesting, is that the with follower, as we can track objects uh, um, and talent, then we can mix it together with our render engine solutions for Unreal Engine. In this case, not the XR solution. It's, this case is the chroma key solution called uh, Green Killer and Stipland. So it's Stipland, and the add-on for uh, chroma key is Green Killer. Now, uh, with Green Killer mixed together with Follower, we can do these kind of things. Okay. So as you can see, we are working in a 3D space. So I'm I'm being tracked also. Okay, so here in my pocket, I have a beacon mini that I'm wearing. So that's why the system knows where I am. Okay, so that's why I can be in the foreground or in the background. Okay. So that's why uh, if we do again these kind of things, and the camera comes to me. Okay, so we can do also these kind of things. So with this, you can add more interactivity to your talent, and then can help to the uh, to the storytelling, mainly for live events or any entertainment shows. Okay, and what we're seeing here is the, also the the uh, the great uh, chroma keying that we're doing. So chroma key uh, uh, green killer, it's a 3D chroma keying. So that's why uh, that allows us to know the the, the depth also of the uh, of the space. Okay, and that uh, we achieve that when we do, uh, as we do the uh, the 3D scanning of the space. Okay, so we will be showing you how we do uh, the 3D scan. Uh, Franny, can you can you do that? Okay, so I will step out. Okay, so you can see how uh, is our process. So that's why we don't need that many lights. Okay, so we don't need like it's a totally fully perfect green because we we want to to take the real shadows of the talent to be able to show on the uh, uh, on the virtual world okay so we are basically we are taking photograms okay of the um, of the surfaces okay so in that way we know how the the background looks looks right so we don't need exactly uh, like a super perfect uh, green Okay, so it, that's it, that's the, the process. Okay, so uh, everything that it's in blue is how the the uh, it's when it means that we are already taking that that those pictures. Okay, so um, I think that we can uh, stop that. Okay. So now back to the to the stage. Uh, to the virtual to the, to the virtual studio, 
okay, we will be able to see uh, another great feature of, uh, of Green Killer. So I will let me show you. So, uh, I think with this one it's better. So as you can see, uh, we, we can do a very good uh, chroma keying also from the water. Okay. okay, so the water we can see that we can uh, uh, we can see the the real reflections and refractions over me, which is the, the real part, and also over the virtual part. Okay, so everything that is there in the real life can be also shown and and, and interact with the uh, with the virtual part. Okay, uh, also about the. Uh, the chroma keying, the, the precision on the uh, on the keying of the of the of the hair. Uh, if you can, uh, you can. Can you help me with the with your presentation? <laughs> yeah, in this case, it's it's a good example to have this uh, long blonde hair. Okay, so we can see. <laughs> yeah, so we can see his hair interacting. Right, all right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And uh, th thank you. <laughs> okay. So that that's uh, one uh, one cool uh, thing. We 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 can also uh, work with different uh, fine tuning on the talents because yeah, the the. Uh, the clothes uh, have different ref the reflections of the uh, of the of, of the lighting, no, of the of the of the green. Okay, so we can do the green this peel, so we can adjust all those fine tuning. So when the the light it's reflecting or bouncing into the into the the, the clothes or the the skin, so we can fine tune that. Okay, so that's why we were seeing also in the whitish part that we it was uh, reflecting that. So, but we can fine tune that in order to to avoid that. No? So we had a similar case when uh, in the U.S. Open uh, two years ago, when the, the, there was a um, a player that was interviewed, and he jumped in and he was ha having a, um, a green a green shirt, okay, a green jersey. Uh, so at the very beginning, we thought that it was uh, uh, complicated, but it, 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 uh, it, the, on the first time it worked fine. So we just tweak it a bit, and it, it worked. Okay, so and, 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 it, and it worked during all the the interview. Okay, now other uh, nice uh, feature is what we call the virtual move. Okay, so if we can switch to the well, we can trigger that. Okay, so even when we have this uh, tripod only in a dolly. It uh, doesn't matter that we have really a really small space or really small cyclorama. We can uh, simulate that we are on, on a, on a, on a um, bigger space. Okay, so that will help to the storytelling also because yeah, I, I can also only interact on this space where I am. Okay, but if we do uh, like a virtual uh, elements outside the um, the 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 action space, then we can also interact there. So all, every t all the time, the tracking is working. So if we do can do the the the, the virtual flight again, uh, Frane, please. Okay, yeah, that's cool. So, and as we can see, if we if we move the uh, the, the camera, Matia, okay. So we are still tracking, okay. So we are not really like uh, faking nothing. So it's it's really we are doing like a virtual zoom out on the on the scene, okay. So we can still interact with the with the graphics, and so also the the camera can can look outside where where, where I am and looking for a statistics or a virtual window or virtual. Uh, virtual um, virtual screens. Okay, so um, yeah, this is our tools uh, in terms of uh, tracking solution and the, the part of interactivity. Okay, so um, well, thank you very much for your attention. Not sure if you have any questions. Sorry, have you? Oh, okay, thank you. Do you want to ask a question? Oh, we have a question. Yep. Multiple objects, or are there? like relative limits to how well it does when you keep adding objects? Adding objects like virtual objects, I mean to interact or? 
I mean, people should have should have said people. <laughs> Add more people to yeah. interact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, 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 there, there's no issue. So because. As we, we have these mini beacons, so we can add more mini beacons to each of the, uh, of the talents, so you, you can come. Get in there. This, yeah. is, this is an interactive, real-time conference. Yeah, 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 that's conference. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, so in this case, you are being tracked. Okay, so if I do this, okay. you're being circled. So now, if if you yeah, if you walk in and out like from the front and back, you will see that you are like trapped on that uh, that halo. No. Yeah. Okay. Let me try to do this. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to take that if you don't. And want also, to. you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> and if you want, you can do it. Just press, and that the, when you press, uh, it will uh, generate the particles. So you, you can draw, okay? So this is just like a use case only for, for showcasing, but there's a lot of, uh, of, of use cases. Now, as, as the, the talent is being tracked, we can use your position to trigger something within the Unreal scene. So if, if your position uh, within the vectorial space, so uh, we have like bond, bounding boxes in, on you, so we can use that your position when you step in that will trigger an animation of some event, of some, yeah, some events within Unreal Engine. And the same if you have uh, several talents or, or anchors, uh, then each of them, they can wear one of the mini beacons, and each of them, they have a unique ID. So there's no problem or there's no issue that uh, of possibility that they will be mixed, okay? Because each of them, they have a unique ID, so there's no Is there error. Is there an optimal range on the bounding box of like it works best between five and ten feet, or um, just as big as you can make it? Is yeah, it really depends on what do you want to do, uh, how precise, uh, what what precise you want to do that uh, that area. Mm -hmm. Because probably if if you want to to trigger it um, only when you step in 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 that corner, then yes, it needs to be more smaller the, the bounds, but the bounding box, no? But if not, if it's like a bigger area and it's only one anchor, then maybe he don't need to, to walk that much in order to trigger that. So they do not, there's no really limitation. It's the limitation is what you want to do, okay? So the, the, in terms of the storytelling and the creativity, what you want to do is that, that will be guiding the size of the, the bounding box, no? And everything is done within the blueprints Okay, so the blueprints in, in Unreal Engine are the ones that will be ruling what will happen when these objects come in. Okay, so what we do is to map those uh, those elements to an, uh, an an actor. So not not sure how familiar are you with with Unreal Engine, but within Unreal Engine, each of the elements it's called actors. Okay, so each actor can be mapped to one of them. So okay, so that's why we know. Uh, what each of them will trigger. Okay. All right, um, Jorge, thank you so much. Let's have a hand for Stipe. Oh, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's party time. So make your way out. And uh, thank you all to the crew. Um, great job today. And yesterday.